The University of Alberta is one of Canada's top teaching research universities and one of the top 100 universities in the world. Our vision is to inspire the human spirit through outstanding achievements in learning, discovery and citizenship in a creative community building one of the world's great universities for the public good. The Faculty of Rehabilitation Medicine is a very special program. It is the only freestanding Faculty of Rehabilitation Medicine in the country and one of the top in North America. We look forward to uh, strengthening our reputation by recruiting outstanding faculty and graduate students to the Rehabilitation Medicine program and to providing them with a life-changing experience. The strategic plan for the Department of Physical Therapy is built on four cornerstones. Talented people, learning, discovery and citizenship, connecting community and a healthy work environment. Now what we are trying to do under each one of these is to build a plan which will move the Department of Physical Therapy to the forefront of physical therapy education and research, not only in Canada and North America, but around the world. When we look at talented people, we're talking about recruiting and retaining the very best academics that we can find, as well as outstanding graduate students. When we talk about learning, discovery and citizenship, we are trying to establish this department as the hub of physical therapy education, not only for the province, but for across the nation. Talking about connecting communities, one of the advantages that the University of Alberta has is that we are strongly connected to the various health regions throughout this province. We're connected to different faculties. We're connected to a variety of professional organizations as well. This brings a unique perspective to our research abilities and capacities, as well as our ability to deliver education. And finally, with respect to building a strong and, and positive work environment. We are interested in maintaining a, a, a very productive work environment, both with respect to what we do for our students, as well as expanding the research potential so that the academics, once they're here, they find this to be a very positive and rewarding environment. We have one of the largest physical therapy programs in Canada. We attract students from all across the country. Um, our faculty members are internationally known for their research and we have outstanding clinical instructors. The University of Alberta offers a Master's of Science in Physical Therapy program. It is a two and a half year course based master's program designed for students wanting to become physical therapists. We recognize that changes in practice in physical therapy in today's healthcare environment really demanded uh, graduate level evaluative skills and learning strategies. The curriculum was designed so that the physical therapy clinical competencies and these research and evaluative skills would be taught together in a very clinical context. Clinical placements are interspersed throughout the program and we follow up on the students clinical experience to help them integrate their learning. And the final innovation is that we have a capping exercise but it is a two-prong capping exercise. We evaluate their clinical skills in an OSCE type exam as well as we get an evaluative final written report that contributes to evidence-based practice in physical therapy. One of the things that's quite exciting about our department is the diversity of people and the research opportunities that we've got here. Our department, we have about 18 faculty members doing a variety of research projects ranging everything from working with neonates through to chronic disease management. My research here at the University of Alberta is trying to understand how the spine works, in particular trying to measure how it works. Uh, right now if we see any kind of clinician for a back care problem, we're really left with uh, an impression by them if we should go back to work, if we should do more exercise. Clinicians don't have enough numbers to make decisions uh, about your back. So my work is trying to create devices that will help measure what the back does and inform clinicians about the decisions they have to make for patients. Currently, uh, we're working on a number of projects. Right now, I think our, our project that is probably most uh, well-known internationally is the Twin Spine Study, and there we look at factors influencing disc degeneration and pathology. We used to think that disc degeneration was primarily due to wear and tear, 
But now we know that genes play a very important uh, role in disc degeneration. And so right now what we're looking at um, is more specific genetic influences. We're looking for particular gene forms associated with disc degeneration pathology so that we can better understand the mechanisms behind uh, those problems. And we're also looking into gene environment influences because those are some things that we may be able to modify. In our particular laboratory, where we're looking mostly at um, spinal disorders or spinal pathology, um, it's a really unique research group in, for, in the fact that a bunch of different principal investigators all have the, their labs in the same area, the Common Spinal Disorders Lab, and so you get the opportunity to work with other researchers within that area. So people that are maybe looking more at disc degeneration versus different therapies versus biomechanical aspects of the back. So it's just really a sharing of knowledge and we have the ability to kind of meet with them, discuss research ideas and collaborate in that way. So it's really nice to get um, that extra sort of opinion on things and that extra expertise in areas that you probably aren't familiar with. The research environment at the University of Alberta I think is extremely strong for neuroscience and that is really the reason I'm here and have stayed here for this long. Um, there's a very large and strong community in, interested in, in the nervous system and, and particularly how the uh, motor neural system works, so motor neurophysiology. I have two main uh, facets to my work. Um, one is to look at the uh, neural control of walking, that is how the nervous system controls walking in people. The other facet of my work is with spinal injured people. Um, so I'm interested in knowing how we can retrain their walking, um, what methods are better, so we compare different types of methods. And we also are interested in the underlying neurophysiology that contributes to the improvements. Uh, my main areas of uh, research interest uh, have to do with people with neurological conditions, particularly spinal cord injury, and um, helping them to live a better life. I also have a um, joint appointment at the Glen Rose Rehabilitation Hospital, so that's where I do the bulk of my research. My area of interest, uh, both clinically and in research, is in the shoulder, specifically looking at shoulder instability, uh, patterns of um, injury, muscle recruitment, uh, looking at capsule tightening, um, internal rotation deficits, things like that. And my teaching role um, is in the, in the musculoskeletal stream, primarily the Therax, therapeutic exercise, and the sports physical therapy. I came to University of Alberta, the main reason is for to come and work with my supervisor, Dr. McGee. I learned about David McGee during my graduation course, or my undergrad course. His book has become a, a bible for us in physical therapy back home, in my city, and um, it's a very good, well, complete book, and yeah, that's the, I wanted to work with someone like that. The opportunities that I have within my own department, within my faculty, with collaborators in Division of Cardiology, Nephrology, and Biomedical Engineering, as well as collaborative ties within the Alberta Cardiovascular Stroke and Research Center with, within the Alberta Mazankowski Heart Institute, allows me to have access to state-of-the-art technology, equipment, patients, as well as the collaborations I have with other researchers in Canada and in North America allows me to participate in research investigations that others in major centers in Canada do not have the same opportunities. I do. So in fact, this is, for the type of research I do, the best place in Canada, probably one of the best places in North America, and I'd say the top five in the world. There's oftentimes you'll see physical therapists working uh, side by side with biomedical engineers, with physicians, with epidemiologists, uh, with the kinesiologists, uh, occupational therapists, and speech and language pathologists. And it, it is that sense of, of belonging and that sense of collegiality that really makes this a very unique place to come and study and to do your research.
there's lots of opportunities for collaboration, both for established researchers, but also students that are just starting out in a research career. Lots of good opportunities to make new teams and forge ahead in an area. So I think it's a kind of a frontier atmosphere in terms of research and a time of growth and opportunity. So for a new researcher or an established researcher, I think it's a great place to be.